Good morning. My name is Matthew Johnson and I am the pastor here at Glencoe United Methodist Church and I wanted to welcome you to another morning devotional here at Glencoe. Now, you may notice that today we're not going to go as in depth as we normally would and there's a reason for that. The reason is because we're starting something new this week. I am proud to announce that we are starting a new morning devotional that's going to last for a little while that is talking about the disciples of Jesus. Now, you're going to notice that I'm not going to be all inclusive of everything and everyone, but you're going to notice that I am going to mention certain individuals and talk about how they were faithful to Jesus and then turn faithful to God, and then talk about how that matters to us today and how we can learn from these disciples of Jesus, because we too are to be disciples of Jesus. And why not kick off this week with a perfect scripture that we're going to briefly unpack, which is the Great Commissioning from Matthew chapter 28, verses 16 through 20. Let's listen to the CB version of this scripture, shall we? Now the eleven disciples went to Galilee, to the mountain where Jesus told them to go. And when they saw him, they worshipped him, but some doubted. Jesus came near and spoke to them, I've received all authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to obey everything that I've commanded you. Look, I myself will be with you every day until the end of this present age. And this is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. I'm thankful that we have this scripture to tell us this great commissioning. Just like with any job that sends you out on, in the field, you are told to go and do. And you are told who you are supported by. For example, if you're a foreman on a construction company, if you go out, then you are supported by the company. And if you are told to go and do, you are supported by them. It doesn't mean that you're not held accountable, but it does mean that you're supported by the larger organization. If you're part of the church, then you are being supported by the greater part of the church. For the Methodists, it is the district, then the conference, and then the denomination. And so I like to look at it this way. We are called to be disciples of Jesus in the world, and we are to be called to go out and make new disciples. Now, what does that mean? Making new disciples means showing people who Jesus is, why he's relevant, why he matters, and showing that love to them. I mention love especially because love is something that is special when it comes to God. It's not something that is necessarily separate, but I'm isolating it so that way we can talk about it more fully. You got to remember in scripture, there's multiple words for love. And when it comes to love from God, we oftentimes use the word agape, which is a more exclusive love than just a relationships with each other. It doesn't mean that the, this kind of love doesn't inform our loving relationships, but it does mean that it's something to be special and different or distinct, if you will. When we sit and we think about who the disciples were, we try to think about how they learned, what they did, and who they were. And this week and next week, we're going to be talking about how these disciples are unique, but also they're very similar to who we are today. It's very interesting. We a lot of times look at disciples and think, oh, wow, disciples, they're following Jesus. Great. But then we also think a lot of times, why in the world can they not understand what this parable is trying to tell them? Or why do they not understand what Jesus is telling them? Or why did they forget what Jesus just told them and they're not understanding? It's interesting when we read the scriptures, it seems more obvious to us, but for them it wasn't. And I want to argue, and we'll get to it, that 
each and every one of us do act like these disciples. Each and every one of us act like them in different ways. They were flawed human beings. We are flawed human beings. And in today's day and age, things may look a little different, but it doesn't mean that we don't basically do the same thing as they did. Doubt. Have trouble understanding. Don't follow instructions. But it doesn't mean they were not faithful. I am going to make a lot of cases over the next two weeks at least about these disciples. And on Wednesday, I'm going to start with the hardest one. And I bet you, you know who it is. But if you don't, start thinking. You'll find out for sure on Wednesday. But I want us to get started on a hard note because it is important that we think about the disciples and who they were, how flawed they were, but also how faithful they truly were. And how, and how that, and with that, we know how we are to be informed today as faithful followers of Christ. Are you going and are you being the light into the world? Are you letting the light of Christ shine through you? Are you being a disciple that is being faithful? And are you bringing new disciples into the faith? Are you helping mold them, teach them, show them who Jesus is? And allowing the Holy Spirit to work in that space. Go in peace. Go in love. And be a disciple of Jesus Christ. And when we come back... We will get started on talking about the disciples that helped Jesus with his mission. Take care, friends.